Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I thought I would just do this video. This is probably going to be an extra one, like sprinkled throughout the week. I wanted to film what I got for my birthday video. Now as I am filming this, it's been about a week since my birthday. It was my 30th, um, but I thought just get it done. I've been saving all of these products and I was like, I just need to film that video. So this is me saying a massive thank you to my friends and family for the presents. Um, and also, if you have somebody in your life that has a makeup collection and you don't know what to buy them, but their only interest is makeup, this is your inspiration. These are the products that I received for my birthday that are so lovely and so thoughtful. Um, so I'm going to start with the bits that my husband got me. We don't normally do a lot for like birthdays. In fact, I got him a big fat zero for his birthday because he said that he didn't want anything. So I was like, fair enough, you're not getting anything. Um, so these are what he got for me. Now, a lot of these I sort of added into an Amazon wish list and I was like just get me what you want off these and then he bought me all of them or like I, I think he did anyway like so so spoiled but so incredibly thankful like he's the best he got me I'll put a picture up on the screen we love going walking and I didn't have any warm winter appropriate walking trousers so he got some from this range like the men's ones last year and he absolutely loved them so he got me a pair of walking trousers which i can confirm are so thick and so warm so lovely we actually went for a walk on my birthday and honestly it was absolutely freezing cold but my legs were lovely and warm the rest of me was freezing but my legs were lovely and warm highly highly recommend those and obviously they're from the same range that he already has so i know that like the quality is fantastic he also got me a cocktail shaker i'm not a big drinker i really am not a big drinker but i do love me a passion fruit martini so he got me the cocktail shaker and he also got me like all of the like passion fruit syrup and stuff so that i could make passion fruit martinis at home I've only tried it once and it wasn't all that successful but I've got the shaker now so I'm gonna be trying that out some more if you have any um cocktail shaker recipes that you think I need to try do let me know more than happy to do the legwork to try out some more so on to the bits that like I put in a Amazon wish list he got me the new fairly new it came out like last year real techniques miracle two-in-one powder puff i haven't managed to find this anywhere like in store i've been looking for it i've been looking for it in Superdrug and in boots i've not managed to find it anywhere so i think i'm gonna do like a short trying this out one side is squishy silicon and one side is a sponge i'll try it <laughs> I don't really know what to think of it but I'll try it he also got me a replacement for my well not replacement because the one that I have is fine but I just use these and they get so so dirty that I'd like to have two so that I don't have to wash it as often this is the Real Techniques Seamless Complexion brush this is my favorite foundation brush and again just one that i had in my amazon cart and i was like get me if you want and he did so i'm very very thankful to have two of these so that i don't have to wash the one that i have quite as often because honestly i just use it every single day it's the best foundation brush he also got me this which i haven't used yet i did take it out of the box though this is the brush works like oil hair oiler so you put the oil and i don't know what oil what oil would you put in this I'm open to suggestions because I need to purchase something oil like applicator so you can like run this or oh, it's all gonna get tangled in my hair now you can run this like across your scalp to oil your scalp like the day before you wash your hair and I just thought that this was a really good idea so that it didn't get messy now something that he just found on his own because I'm always always complaining that I don't have enough um muslin cloths to wash my face he got me a pack of muslin cloths now these were 
probably just from Amazon. They said that these were a pack of 20, but I got all of them out of the packaging and they were like in packs. So they were, they were like stuck together and I had to like separate them. And then I threw them in the wash before I even used them because you're going to wash your face with that. You don't know what's been on it. I am certain that there were at least like 25 if not 30 of these like I am never going to be without a muslin cloth ever again um, and because I was running out and then I was having to put a wash on just to put these through the wash before I could use them again so I only want to use them once in between like properly laundering them um, so he got me a massive pack that said that it was a pack of 20 but I am certain that there were more than that then he also got me if you don't know the story of the physician's formula butter bronzer uh, I have mine just here I have to keep it out on my table because it is so broken but last year he was in this room hoovering very very kind of him like I say he is the best he was hoovering in here and he jammed into my table with the hoover and this bronzer went absolutely flying and it has since broken and i have stuck it back together but obviously like i don't have a lot of product left and i love this bronzer and i actually said in a recent video i was like i probably will repurchase this when i finally run out of that one well, the good egg that he is repurchased it for me. So this is just the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, just in the bronzer shade, I do believe. I'm hoping so. It looks the same as the one that I already have. The only thing is I really, really hate the scent of these. Like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer scent. I know a lot of people love it. I am not one of those people. I just can't get on board with it. So what I will probably do is open this up fairly soon and just leave it open on my table in the hope that the sort of scent and the fragrance will go a little bit because it's just so overpowering. Um, he also got me this set because he had noticed I think that my cleanser was running low so this is the Inky List Makeup Prep 101 set so this has the oat cleansing balm the caffeine eye cream which I actually finished I've got the empty one somewhere I literally finished that like the day before yesterday and the polyglutamic acid serum so this is a set with all three i love all three of these products and um, my oat cleansing balm that i have in the bathroom at the minute i've maybe only got like three or four uses left in it so he repurchased me that gift set and i absolutely love the caffeine eye cream and the polyglutamic acid serum is a staple and I had actually run out of that a while ago and was meaning to repurchase it so very very helpful and um, I did request these next three products and they're out of their packaging because I did a little short trying these out this morning but these are the made by Mitchell skin products so this is the toner because I, I asked for these but the one that I have I've only got a real little bit left in it so I wanted a replacement for that because I love it and then I also wanted to try the eye cream and the keen screen skin prep moisturizer which I didn't realize these were gonna be pink I really really like that they're pink though and like I say I used those this morning when I was getting ready and I am a massive massive fan I think if you're here for recommendations I think skincare is always a good shout if you know what sort of skin your person has I always think skincare is a great shout because you go through it so quickly then from my parents my husband's parents and my husband's brother and his wife I got money which was very kind like I appreciate I'm very difficult to buy for <laughs> so difficult to buy for because I'm just in that stage of life where if I want something I buy it so I think I'm going to put the money towards either 
a coffee machine because I don't have a proper coffee machine at home and I live on coffee. I run on coffee, my blood is 97% coffee. You cut me open, I bleed coffee. I love coffee. <laughs> Can you tell? I love coffee. And I don't have a proper coffee machine, so I would love either a proper coffee machine so that I can make myself a milky coffee or a milk frother. Like the Velvetizer, but probably not that expensive because I don't need one that expensive. Like I'm only going to be using it a couple of times a week. So, do you have any recommendations for either a smallish coffee machine? or a milk frother. I would love to know if you have either, what would you recommend? Because I think that's what I'm gonna put my birthday money towards. Then, my friends, I have, I have two friends and they are diamonds. They got me a Stanley Cup. I didn't even know I needed a Stanley Cup. Have I used this? every single day and almost shed a tear on the one day that I forgot to take this to work. Yes, this has made me drink so much more water or, I mean, this is juice, but it's made me drink so much more. It's huge. It is so heavy. This Stanley cup is now my whole identity. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm, I'm not going to show you the straw. <laughs> it's got my lipstick all over it. Then Ooh, in this bag down here so one of my friends has a little boy he is the absolute apple of my eye I absolutely love him to the stars and back and apparently he chose me this which is a hoodie I haven't actually tried this on yet but I'm certain it will fit and it says on the front of it can you see cool aunties club that is me I am the cool auntie I am never the auntie that shouts at you I am always going to be the auntie that takes you out to a bar. I absolutely love it. The writing's like retro, it's all printed on, it's like a light sort of beigey colour. It feels so thick and so warm. I cannot wait to wear that and like I say I haven't actually tried it on yet but I'm certain it'll fit. Then they also got me, I know I just said I don't drink a lot but this is absolutely the sort of thing that I will drink. This is the the distiller cherry and vanilla gin how incredible does that sound i think in my head i think this shaken with a little bit of disserano and some lemonade i think that that is going to be absolutely delicious um almost like a sort of cherry bakewell sort of a flavor I think will be absolutely fantastic. I love me a flavoured gin. Then they also got me chocolates. Um, like this is um, Millionaire's Shortbread. If you don't know, I have about 7 million food allergies. So they checked, <laughs> they told me that they checked all of the ingredients and they were like, you're okay with soya, aren't you? I was like, soya is one of the few things that I can actually have. Um, I think I might have one of these now actually. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. oh so good that is incredible then they also got me this chocolate bar which is the asda extra special because it's my birthday free from salted honeycomb and raspberry how incredible does that chocolate bar look i've got millionaire shortbread in my teeth now mm. so excited to get into that one and then lastly they got me this which is a key ring hot girls hit curbs i don't think i have actually ever hit a curb i mean we've spoken about it before i really don't like driving and parking so accurate i probably will hit a curb at some point but yeah hot girls hit curbs and like how spoiled how how spoiled so like massive massive huge thank you to everybody that got me a little something for my birthday like i say it was over a week ago now i am in my 30s can you tell i look haggard <laughs> but i i'm i'm just 
so grateful to my lovely friends and family for all of the lovely presents. I also went out for a lovely meal. If you live in Hull or like around about Hull, this is worth travelling for. In the old Corn Mill Hotel, there's a restaurant underneath it called I think it's like Osteria, Osteria, I don't know how you say it. If you want pizza and cocktails at the same time, you need to go there. Oh my goodness, so, so good. They do the best passion fruit martini, passion fruit martini and a pizza, please. My idea of the perfect night out. And that is everything that I got for my 30th birthday. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you get any of these products for yourself or for your friends' birthdays, I would love to hear about it. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.